think the biggest reason why Bluepoint is considered the go-to team for most publishers when it comes to remasters is that we do really care. The games we work on, we handpick them. So we only pick projects that we actually truly believe people will want to play. Bluepoint's been around since early 2006, and our first game that we ever shipped was Blast Factor for the PS3. It was the first PlayStation Network game that you could get when the network launched. After that, we had a great opportunity working with Sony Santa Monica on God of War Collection. And from that point forward, it was just step after step. Initially, there were just two guys running this. As we grew and our ability to solve problems grew as well, we started to take on bigger projects. We've been very fortunate in that we've worked on games that everyone knows and loves. As we work on each of these titles, we take a small piece of it with us. So regardless of where we go next, we always have that piece that we bring with us from game to game, and it becomes part of the Bluepoint DNA. Every single project, we essentially take on another challenge. We never like to just stay in the same bubble and like, okay, we know we can do this, we're gonna do this exact same thing again. So on Uncharted Collection, that was kind of our starting kickoff point where we did a little bit art revamp, but then yeah, going into Shadow, like we knew up front, we're gonna redo all the art. So that required us to have a full art team that could build a full AAA quality content for a full game. Every game that we work on, the first thing that we look at is what makes this game so endearing, not only to us, but to the community. We're essentially dealing with something that we have only played as consumers, and we don't really have a uh, from the ground up knowledge of the design decisions that went into every choice that was made during development on these projects. And so we spend a lot of time going back through design notes and art direction notes so that when we do change something in a game or we do make updates, we're doing it in the style that is best representative for the game rather than just going off and doing something our own, uh, just to make it our own. And so part of the process that we go through is getting the original up and going and then running parity checks against what the retail version was. Once we've established parity, then we start branching into what kind of improvements, what kind of enhancements do we want to make to this game. There's a lot of deliberate discussion that occurs when we decide this thing needs to be a part of the game, whether it's an updated control scheme, whether it's subtle changes to uh, color tones or environment. Obviously to us, failure is really never an option, so we always give the best we possibly can on every single title we work on, and I hope everybody enjoys the results.